battle economically and militarily for global supremacy to build the technotronic systems within each block that the globalists will then engage in an electronic coup of. Do you understand that? Or less, you're talking about like the bootleg gangs of the 1920s before they consolidated into the into the organized crime syndicate where they fought each other over territory and stuff. But yes, but that was laid out publicly. Brzezinski's written five books on it. I, I didn't come up with this. They've all written books. Of the, 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 they say they're going to do all this. And, and like no one will talk about it. Except them and then their own people. And then they say, well, look how dumb the public is. See, they don't even care. I appreciate your call. God bless you, sir. Oh, God help us. I, 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 I just don't know how to explain this to people. I just, uh, Toby in Oregon, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. The plane is a distraction. The uh, the real deal is the Western Front, and I think the only way that we can stop this invasion from the South American continent is by spreading the Republic and starting a 51st state movement like Baja and get them to join the Union and to uh, learn our ways. No, I agree. Mexico has failed and collapsed. And you don't stay the same. I mean, you don't have in the universe where something sits there. It either degrades or it, it excels and, and moves forward. And a Baja would be uh, a, a nice slice and is one of the safer, better areas of Mexico. Uh, and, and it also would secure Mexico's flank if you cut it off and built a fence there up by where the peninsula is. And I think you're probably right. The problem is the globalists already foresaw that. That's why annexation of Mexico into the North American Union is their plan out of the crisis they created. They already are one step ahead with the logic uh, to sell the absorption of Mexico as a way to fix the problem, but they won't fix the problem with the absorption of Mexico. So you just hit full spectrum dominance again and the high level intelligence we're facing. If we could translate your small booklets that you hand out with all the orders into Spanish, and spread that, uh, you know, the, the Bill of Rights is something that Mexicans and all Southern uh, peoples grab onto. Those ideas are inherent in them. And, and if they knew that they could join the Union and there would be no border, we don't... Exactly, don't exactly, that. exactly. They just see it the way it's been sold, that they're not welcome here when they're leaving the hellish stuff. And then it's sold that you can only join the communist socialist if you want to have freedom. It's a total fraud. Uh, we, we do need to spread 1776 worldwide and not just annex things. We could literally have the ideas, if they were properly taught, uh, expand and would turn those places into Edens. The problem is the globalists have been in Latin America for 60 years with the Ford Foundation teaching communism as the only way to resist. I've worked with many of these laborers. They're hardworking. They want to be... Uh, Americans, they want to they want to blend in. It's not their fault that people are handing them all these goodies. So I want to. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Out there. I and they've set up them. an economy where you can't even survive as a working class person without handouts. I mean, they admit that's the plan. I mean, it's not just the Hispanics from Latin America that are getting the freebies on top of working. Most Walmart workers are on welfare on top of it. Most blue collar workers, they tell city and state workers now, "Oh, you're so low paid. Go get welfare." Go get food stamps. I mean, it's disgusting. I appreciate your call. Great points, Tubby. Yeah, it's messages like that that are going to save humanity. We're all in this together, folks. It's full, full spectrum dominance. And ugh, let's just talk to Glenn in Ohio. Glenn, you're on the air worldwide. Thanks for holding. Hello, Alex. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, Alex. I have some really important information here. And I'm not sure if you mentioned this to your list. To your listeners or not, but this is from history. Do you, do you recall Iran Air Flight 655? Yes, and then right after they had that, they had Operation um, Praying Manus and blew up the uh, Persian Gulf fleet of the Iranians. Well, the, the point here being is that the United States government, especially Obama and the globalists, have no business pointing fingers at either Russia or the separatists when we, we ourselves uh, destroyed uh, 209 people on board that flight, including 66 children and 16 crew died that day. Well, it happens in war zones, and it's terrible. Exactly. The Ukrainians in 2001 blew up a Russian airliner. 
So was there World War III over that? There it is. Ukraine admits it shot down Russian airliner. 2001, killing 78 passengers. So why was it not a big deal then? Because you don't start wars over things like this. No governments. Here's the thing about the Russians. They don't have a motive to blow the aircraft up. They didn't do it premeditatively. It's a bad move. It's like forfeiting the queen in a chess game for no reason. You see what I'm saying? Yes. I guess the point here being, just, just really quick here, is that, again, we really need to stress, hey, look, U.S., you did the same thing. You have no business pointing fingers at anyone else. To, so just be quiet. I settle down. Well, bottom line, I mean, it's George Soros trying to start a war with the Russians. So they got such a big crisis, Obama can come on TV, announce a war started with the Russians. I mean, all I know is, man, the globalists are driving this pony, and it isn't a good situation. Thousands of other platforms, global shortwave, uh, and the fact that we're seeing more and more censorship the last week, where suddenly web filters all over the world, not just here in the United States, uh, have uh, been saying, don't go to our websites, they're not safe. And again, they've done that to Drudge, World Net Daily, you name it before. This is an attempt to make sure that the fact that we're questioning the narrative does not get out. Up on Drudge right now, it's got the Sun headline, Putin's missile. See, Putin did it now. And it's just like babies in incubators. It, it, it's like claiming that uh, there's babies uh, that, that Saddam was stomping the brains out of. It, it was a PR firm, all fake, none of it true, to start the first Iraq war. Or that our ships were attacked in the Vietnam uh, harbor. Didn't happen. That's declassified again in, in the mid-2000s. Uh, and so now, uh, you know, it, it's the, the, the sun in England. Flight MH17 shot out of the sky. Putin's missile. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. He is, he is convicted, ladies and gentlemen. Done. Open, open and shut case. And so the answer is, I guess, let uh, NATO and the EU take over and kick all the Russians that are about half the population of Ukraine out and, and maybe just bomb Russia. I mean, we've, uh, I've got headlines up on Infowars.com until the site went down. With all these top government officials, McCain, you name it, saying there will be hell to pay, and others saying let's go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Russians. The site's again up and down. It's up right now. Uh, but uh, this, this is what they're saying. This is what they want. And they don't want people going to Infowars.com and noticing that the Ukraine video was uploaded to YouTube, timestamped on YouTube, the day before the plane was shot down yesterday. So on Wednesday, this YouTube video showing a supposed Russian separatist dressed up a standing by a Russian officer by one of these missile launchers that they admit the Ukraine government has. They claim separatists stole it. I mean, I could dress up like a TSA person and go do stuff right now and people think TSA did it or impersonate a cop. I mean, you know, you could do that. This is what goes on. And this is how wars start. And I'm sad for everybody in Ukraine, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad the Georgia war got stopped in 2008. We're going to go to your calls the next segment uh, for Tim and uh, Nathan and others that are patiently holding. Uh, but before we go any further, please remember that we're under an attack as well. They don't want us getting this info out because they don't want to have a real debate. They want to start a new war like the Spanish-American War that was based on blowing up the Maine. They want to do this. Globalist criminal interest. The same one shutting down our borders right now. They're attacking everybody. The globalists are launching their wars and operations everywhere right now. All over the Middle East. Al-Qaeda is launching attacks. The NATO is launching attacks. Israel is launching attacks. The globalists are lowering our borders, launching attacks. These are the times they drop the hammer. This is when everything accelerates. So spread the word about the broadcast, the free podcast, the free audio feeds, the video feeds. Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. See the nightly news. All of it. Tell friends and family to tune into the refeeds all weekend long at Infowars.com forward slash show. They can see the free feed of the last three days airing back to back. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. Buy the products at InfoWarsStore.com. Shop with the good guys. We'll be back in 70 seconds, the third hour.
is coming up. Short segment with your calls. This is Catherine GCN, Albrecht in Genesis studio. Communication I'm Radio Alex Jones. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network.